So I will link to this particular video, but it came up into my feed and I thought it would be interesting and I watched through it and it is actually very interesting because they are comparing a very old RTX 2080 Ti video card to a brand new RTX 5060. If you are enjoying this content, you can do something for me. You can do what's above here. Like, share, subscribe, comment, and don't forget to hit that notification bell. Now, to be fair, this isn't really comparing apples to apples because if you were doing that, you would compare an RTX 5080 Ti to a 2080 Ti. And of course, the 5080 Ti would blow this completely out of the water. And certainly it would if you're gaming at resolutions anything above 1080p because both of these video cards, the RTX 5060 and the 2080, well, they're really 1080p gaming cards. You can play them, sure, at 1440p, but you're going to start, well, to lose a lot of frames and it's probably going to be virtually unplayable. So let's just say that you can find one of these RTX 2080 Ti video cards for a song, maybe, a hundred bucks, a couple hundred bucks. Is that money well spent? Well, I'll get into that in just a moment. But if we compare, let's just say you pick one up for $200 US. You will save 200 bucks US because the eight gigabyte version of the 5060, which I would not recommend you get, but that one is $380 US. And that's the MSRP, so it's going to be probably more expensive than that. It's probably going to be over $400 US. <laughs> These prices are like blowing my mind because do you know how much that is in here in Canada? That's around six to seven, probably closer on $800 for, I don't know how else to say this, but a crap, crap video card. Eight gigabytes is not enough VRAM. Speaking of VRAM, this is the main difference as well between these two video cards. The RTX 2080 Ti can match or do better in some cases than the brand new RTX 5060 because of VRAM. The 2080 Ti has 11 gigabytes of VRAM, and this particular model of the RTX 5060 has only eight. And this is especially true when you go beyond 1080p, which really you shouldn't be using these video cards for because again, they are 1080p video cards. But still, that's one of the main reasons why you're seeing the performance. Well, it's about the same overall, but of course, when you start using AI technologies like DLSS 4, the 5060 is going to pull far ahead of this video card. And that's kind of, well, an unfair advantage in some ways. So there is that. And if you are comfortable with using AI and these fake frames, then I guess maybe you'd think that those two or 300 extra dollars that you would spend on a 5060 would be worth it. Now, how about power? Well, as you'd expect, the RTX 2080 Ti consumes more power, around 100 watts more power than the 5060. The 5060 is around 145 watts TDP, and the older 2080 Ti consumes 250 watts TDP. Well, that's going to wrap up this video. If you have an RTX 2080 Ti, let us know. Let us all know how it's going. And if you don't have one, maybe you're thinking about getting one. Let us know as well.